Hey everyone, so these last three weeks of our quarter, we are actually going to be starting a new project um, that is a public service announcement. So what's gonna to happen today is you're gonna receive a topic that I have already assigned you, and your job is to watch a few different samples um, and then ultimately create two different driving questions. And what driving questions are, are going to be what is the basis of your research, which is gonna be happening in a couple more days. Um, so I'm going to show you what our Schoology page is gonna look like, and I'm also going to show you an example from fourth quarter last year. So I'm gonna get my face out of the way here. And here we have a sample from one of my students last year. So as we watch this, this is just one style that you can choose to do. Um, but at the same time, you can make this with whatever you want. We're gonna show you three different styles of examples um, um, a little bit later today. So just hang tight with me and watch, take a look at this one. Bruh, uh, can you turn down the radio? It's too loud. Dude, it's like three in the afternoon. How much sleep did you get last night? Can you turn down the radio? I can't hear you. Yeah, sure. So how much sleep did you get last night? Two hours. How are you gonna make it through the rest of the day with just two hours of sleep? It's fine. I'm getting enough sleep. That is clearly not enough sleep. All right, expert team man. How do I know if I'm not getting enough sleep? All right, if you say so. Let's go back to about a week ago. First, when you yelled at Josh because you thought him meeting was so irritating. Later in the week, you had to ask Ross nine times what the Wi-Fi password was. And just yesterday, you asked me as well. Anytime we want to hang out with you, you're always in this depressed mood, no matter what we're doing. You never do anything else, because you say you have no motivation to do anything. Anytime anyone tries to have a conversation with you, no one can tell what emotion you're feeling. You can easily go from being angry to being happy and then being angry again for no reason. We don't even know. Finally, you can barely complete any daily tasks because your attention span is so short. Alright, I'm done. No more. Hey, I'll, I'll stop. Just actually get some sleep. Please, we got stuff to do tomorrow. Now, XPT man, he'll tell me how to get enough sleep. You know what? I will. <laughs> First, you want to practice a good bedtime routine. This could include taking a warm shower or bath, reading a book, or a bit of exercise. A regular nightly routine helps your body recognize that it is bedtime. Now that you have a regular sleep schedule, try keeping it the same, even on weekends. Keeping your regular sleep schedule will help your body fall asleep and wake up more easily. Another thing that you can do is limit the amount of caffeine you take. Caffeine is known to cause sleep problems up to 10 to 12 hours after drinking it. Before you go to bed, make sure you to avoid anything that produces blue light. Blue light restrains the production of melatonin, and the hormone that controls your sleep-wake cycle. All right, so that was just a quick sample. There's still about a minute left of that video. Um, but again, this, this is just one example. This was a student who is very creative, obviously has great artistic ability and was able to get someone to help him to be, play another voice in that narration. Um, so again, that is just a sample of what you can do and you're gonna be watching a few more samples today. So as we move from that, I'm going to show you what our Schoology page is going to look like. So we have week seven, eight, and nine as this pink folder right here. As you open that up, you are going to see different folders in here. This one is going to be this week, and then you'll see week eight and week nine add into this folder, keeping it all in one folder so it's easy for you guys to find. All right, so first off, what you're going to look at is our important dates and calendar page. So as you look at this, so as lesson one is due Tuesday, lesson two is due Thursday, lesson three is going to be due on Sunday, and it tells you exactly what needs to be done. Week two, what you're gonna see week two is that you're gonna start doing a lot of your recording and editing. And then finally on week three, you're gonna see your due date, okay? So this is going to be our work is this week, okay? And then next week, you're going to be doing a lot of recording and editing, and most people will be using um, iMovie, so you want to make sure that your iPad is up to date and you have reinstalled and updated all those apps. Otherwise, it will not work well for you. 
So after we look at that calendar, we're going to go to lesson one, which is what you're going to be working on today. So week one, lesson one in our public service announcement project, task one is going to be to watch this video. Um, I'm going to explain the project as well as the, today's expectations. Task two is to find your name in the spreadsheet and see what topic you have been assigned for this project. After seeing your topic, you're going to come up with two driving questions and you're going to download the worksheet and notability and fill it out as you go through today's lesson. Task three is to watch six different PSAs, two from each category, on the same worksheet that you just downloaded and you're going to answer two questions after each video and write down the style of PSA that you are going to do. Okay, so I'm going to give you three different categories of public service announcements and you're going to choose which style you are going to do. And then finally, task four, make sure you upload that worksheet into Schoology by midnight on Tuesday. So task two, finding your assigned topic. Period three, you are the orange and white. Period four, you are the pink and white. And period five, you are the blue and white. So again, you find your name and you see the topic that I have assigned to you. So again, from that, you're gonna be able to come up with any sort of research questions that you would like to do. So again, you're gonna open the PDF and Notability, create two driving questions about your topic and write them in your PDF. So what exactly is a driving question? Well, a driving question is an open-ended inquiry that guides you through learning and thinking. And this is what you're going to be wanting to explore. These are things that you can create and be curious about. So you're gonna use this website right here to help think of two driving questions about your topic. So it's a really good idea to make sure we're using any of the resources I'm giving you, and it gives you some great ideas. Task three is to figure out what makes a public service announcement so effective. And they're gonna be a whole bunch of different styles and approaches that you can take for your PSA, uh, but today you're gonna to actually decide which one is the most appropriate and effective for the message that you're trying to get across to your audience, which would be me and your classmates. A couple of different things that you need to keep in mind. Your public service announcement needs to get the attention of your audience, okay? If it is dry and if it's just a bunch of fact giving, that is not gonna be nearly as entertaining for people. Make sure your message is clear and easy to understand, okay? Make sure that after I watch it, even if it gets to be a little obscure, that people come away with, huh, I just got smarter have the message supported by researched facts about the issue and you need to make sure that we know those that research that you have done and then finally you want to get the audience to be able to sympathize with people that are affected by this issue like you want them to realize how big of a deal it actually is so the three different styles of psas are a narrative a documentary or an interview and an announcement okay so this explains all three of those different styles i'll let you read through that on your own and then what you're gonna do is you're going to choose two videos from each of these categories that's going to show you quick public service announcements. And this one is truly an announcement. You can pick any of these two. You can do and watch any documentary interview, or you can watch the narratives. And again, it's two in each of those categories. And then finally, again, that worksheet that you already uploaded, um, you wanna make sure you're putting your driving questions on there. You wanna watch and answer the questions of the samples that are up above. And then finally, you're going to write down what style of PSA that you are going to choose to do. So all that being said, today is going to be just an introduction day. Uh, it's the content that you're gonna be working on is not going to be challenging. However, you do need to make sure you're keeping up with this project. This is one that yes, we have three weeks left of the quarter, but it is due the beginning of our last quarter. Um, and then also you have to make sure you keep in mind that sometimes if we get behind on one part, it's going to affect the rest of it because you're not gonna be able to create your research if you don't have your driving questions. And you're not going to be able to create your storyboard, which is basically a graphic of what your video is going to look like if you haven't already done your research. Um, and then obviously, if you don't have that done, you recording and taking video is not going to make much sense. So please, this week, make sure you dedicate yourself to getting a lot of work done for this class. Um, and then I can help you out in any way I can. But the next week is going to be dedicated to you doing a lot of recording and editing on your own. All right. So let me know if you have any questions and I will see you all soon.